We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important <laughs> momentous occasion. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Yeah, I played the wrong way. Nick there, Gabe here. I'm telling you, bro, this is just... You would think after a year and a half of quarantine and having to do it this way, I can still point the right way. Point to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today for another episode of... Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. Nick. And today we got a hot one for you. We think it's a hot one because we got India, Pakistan. We're going to be streaming it on Cricket for America's other channel, October 24th. We got it coming up at the beginning of that World Cup. So found a video right here where I wanted to see some India, Pakistan action. Now I think India comes out on the right side of this one. Sorry, Pakistan fans. But we're looking at a partnership, a classic match winning partnership of 132 against Pakistan, MCG 1985. And this looks like this is the Benson and Hedges World Championship of Cricket 1985. Not really sure how big of a match that was or if that was like an exhibition championship series yeah. between the two squads. I have no idea. But it was a championship winning match between Pakistan and India 1985. And the partnership are the legends, Gaviscar and Azarudin. Don't know too much about this. Hoping you guys can help us out in the comment section below. But I'm excited to see some good partnership right here. Because you know, Gabe, in cricket, you've got to get that partnership solidified. It could be the difference, no matter what format you're playing, of the entire match, if you can get a good partnership going. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think the, 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 the magnitude of the game is because it's India-Pakistan, bro. Let me tell you something. India-Pakistan, and, and, and talking with people uh, uh, in the chat, it's like the equivalent of Knicks, uh, 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 Knicks Celtics, right? Uh, or, or Lakers Celtics or Yankees Red Sox, you know, some of the biggest rivalry in sports. And, you know, it's not just city versus city, like in domestic leagues or whatever. Bro, we're talking country versus country. And, I mean, of course, there's there's just all the, the cultural stuff as well that, that plays into it. And it's like, look, you could go out and lose a game. But if you're India, you don't want to lose to Pakistan. And if you're Pakistan, you don't want to lose to India. Exactly. Listen, I'm a Yankees fan. I could care less. Yankees don't get, get bumped out of the playoffs. I could care less. But not Boston. Not who who beat us this year, by the way, which is it, it, it's just oh my gosh. My I loathe Boston. But that's to me, Nick. I think that's what puts it so much. And I think that even to the players, they feel the magnitude of the pressure of playing in these games because you're you're representing not New York or LA, right? Like uh, or New York or Boston, like the Yankees and Red Sox, or you know the 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 Boston Celtics and the Lakers do, bro. You're representing India, the country, and Pakistan, the country, who are also <laughs> rivaling nations. There's, I mean, th th I don't think there might be any other rivalry in sports that's that pressure packed. Pressure packed. Absolutely. I mean, I'm excited to watch it live and be a part of it in a few weeks. Let us know if you are. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we check out this video. And I'm excited to see some good partnerships, some good cricket. Gabe, are you ready? Always. All right. And we're going to start this in three, two, one. Oh, beautifully played. The young man trying to get on the front foot this time. As we did. So look at this, bro. At this point, India is... 30 three wow it's down three wickets down 33 for or 34 for three with three losses in the 12th over that ain't good cousin yes odi match so they got 50 to go three for 41 they're they're uh well they're down by oh, they're showing runs. these class there. nice little drive right the there players have real did you see that swing on that ball bro put that yeah. away beautifully for and four. he just went with it by just mm -hmm. calm indeed the other end the great player beautifully played Got that half volley through mid wickets. Brings up the 50. So they're not chasing a huge score here. Looks like they were chasing ultimately 187 or something like that. 
but so still, you lose three wickets down by the twelfth over. You got to solidify. You got to make sure that you do not Here's lose any more precious wickets before the twentieth over. Got him. And he's. Uh... Oh. No, he's not. Oh, I love the, the outfit by the umpire. He's can't believe it. Huge appeal there for court. Wow. I thought I heard yeah, a nick. God, not impressed with the proceedings. Has a little glance up towards the heavens. <laughs> that makes Gavis sense. Gavaskar is not interested at all in the FPL. Wow. He's like, nope. Well, there was a very faint little noise of some sort and uh, a pleading inquiry. Bro. In total disbelief. It looks so close. Yeah. And Look at the uniform. Bro, this is one of the fastest it's outfields I've seen in a play. while. Oh, man. It's like a bowling alley. Yeah, yeah. Sureness about the stroke play now that Imran's out of the attack. Look at the birds! Dean and Gavaskar starting to middle the ball now. It's three for 67. He hasn't done Look to be badly. on the same page as far as running between the wickets. And he runs mm -hmm. there of 30 balls. Very in sync. There's the runs coming on. Look the floppy hat, the though. You like that? The bucket hat, baby. Bucket That's hat. bat in shot. That's bat in the style. <laughs> Oh, he is those birds, they love the ball. The boundary, they'll certainly run for. Ooh. They gonna try to go for four? He's just picked it up. Oh! And they turn for the fourth. Did they, they get four, four runs they on that? Four. I've never seen that. Me neither. I've seen a whole bunch of threes, but not fours like that. Ooh, did you see that fielder just pick it up with the one hand and throw it right away? Wow. And that brings up the 50 partnership and a Isn't little bit of frustration how, there on um, the face of Azarud has got the helmet, dead. but Gavaskar doesn't. Oh, and he's dropped him! Oh. Oh. That is a very sharp chance, and oh. it was, was that a going drop down, and therefore out of his reach. quite difficult. It, it, it was quite it, close it, there, quite right. It, it, it looked oh, like it was a drop, bro. It hit him right in the gloves. In him, but yep, a very a definite chance. Oh. I hope Ajay side. wasn't young enough to Good see this or old enough to see this game live. That would have broken his heart. Save. Young was him. Like a cement step man. right there. He ran right into that. Ouch! Very good save. And that's the sort of spirit. Bro, that's what seemed Akram right there. One of the greatest bowlers in Pakistani history, ground. diving for a boundary. That's crazy. That was what seemed out there. Yeah. Once again, wow, look at you. That strong backward play of Azaruddin. So they've gotten 60 runs in 11 third. overs. They're taking their time. So India moving along quite smoothly at 3 for 92. Plenty of time. 27 overs again, another 92 the 50 runs. For now on the 27th over. So continuing the great form that he showed on the subcontinent. Look how subdued. Listen to how subdued this audience is. Coming They're just, just giving the golf clap. Balls. That 50, it's 3 for 105. That's, That's funny. Ball. It is the golf clap. Look at the hair. Ooh, did you hear that shot? That's what we were waiting for. Cover drive there. See what happened when he got a half volley. On or just outside off stump. And Imran Khan gave a little grin there. Yeah, it is Imran Khan. He's been waiting nice to hair. find out as well. Same stage after 32, 3 for 100 Pakistan. So at this point, they're both the same score. And that's the 100 partnership. Wow. At that India. point in the match. And his boy must have really Coming showed up after that area, wow. just behind square leg. 100 runs on 141 balls. Wow. What do you? Oh, get that run! Well, this could be close. Oh. Oh. There's a big appeal. I was not very nah. athletic. Getting there just before that. What do you think of the the, the old game here, 1985? You know, I'll tell you. I think that the bowling, specifically by Pakistan, is very impressive because you see the swing on some of these balls, they're so nasty, but then you're looking at these batsmen and saying, to be able to handle that kind of bowling, there's not a lot of guy, young guys now that, that have the ability to do that, you know what I mean? No, absolutely, they'll land a pace and swing, and Gavaskar, I mean, this guy's a legend. I, I know I've heard the name of Azarudin. Right Let us know in the comments section yeah. from him. how much of a legend he was. And that brings up the Gavis I mean, 50. I still hear his quotes every day in the IPL, and talking this or talking that. Too. Like, you know, I, I'm a bowling guy. I love bowling. 
But some of these balls should have gotten these guys out, bro. Because the way they're swinging into the gap. and somehow and two, they're, two, wait, the they're able to play it so late, it's a thing of beauty. Oh. Ooh. Got him. him out. Got him. Well, our Perth viewers have joined us just in time to see yeah. the end of what has turned out to be a very useful partnership for the Indians. Got him. Their He's got swag. Look at him with the bucket hat. Oh, absolutely. I completely agree. Having been involved in a 132-run yeah. partnership LB for the fourth w. wicket, he's out LBW to Medessa for 54. And he's he did that same move, Nick, about four or five times, where he's literally like almost jumping up in the air, and then he's able to like, you know, hit it before it hits his pad LBW, and play that ball super late, which is what's impressive. Like I said, being able to defend against that is so impressive, because. Some of these balls were absolutely nasty, bro. Nasty. And I think the ability to play balls late is one of the best things a Batman can uh, a batsman can do. Because if you can't if you cannot uh play balls late, then you gotta commit too early. And that's when guys normally get themselves out and look bad. Okay. That's when they look they already decided they're gonna do something. Here's a good example. Two of my favorite young batsmen, Paticle, right? Indian as well, David Paticle and uh, um, re more recently, uh, Rutherford Rutherford's guy quad, right? They're struggling with the short ball, and it's because they've already committed to trying, you know what I mean? Trying to, to swing is oh man, it's gonna be short, and then when they got to depend on it, it's like they get ate up as opposed to waiting until you know, oh, it's gonna be a short point and getting there. And you gotta have really quick hands in order to do that, you know what I'm saying? Baseball is the same, in same mentality. The guys, your guy, Tony Gwynn Jr., I'll give you an example. He had like almost a 400 career uh, uh, OB, uh, um, what do you call it, batting average. This kid's guy was one of the greatest hitters of all time. One of the things he did was play the ball super late. I I almost saw him hit the ball almost out of the catcher's glove. Like, dude, he can have the ability to let the ball get so deep on him, and that's how you're able to go the other way when you let the ball get deep on you. So the deeper the ball gets on you, you know exactly what it's doing, but then you've got to have really quick hands to make contact. Okay. And – Especially in today's baseball game, ninety nine point nine percent of guys can't do that. What are you kidding me? Strikeouts are like to strike out two hundred times in baseball this year is nothing because none of these guys can make contact. It's ridiculous. They're guest hitters. They're just swinging at a spot, and if the ball happens to be there, bye. You know what I mean? But they don't have the discipline to do that. And I think in the IPL, now that I've watched it more, you see a lot of that where guys. And I get it. It's 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 IPL to T twenty. It's not limited form exactly, so you got to score quickly. But some guys are just literally swinging at a spot. And if I'm out, I'm out. That's kind of like the mentality where you got to have that discipline. Absolutely. Let me just correct you real quick. Tony Gwynn Sr. was the one with the Hall of Fame career. I almost but, forget he had a son, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this was a very classy partnership. Very calm, very relaxing. Did a little bit of extra research there on Gaviscar. I think he was the first to get the 10,000 runs. He's uh, he's 12 out of 13 to that right now because some guys have passed him up. He had the most test runs, I believe, until Sasha beat, passed him up. This guy is one of the best opener batsmen for, for India that they've had. And like you said, the swag. I can just hear the swag in his comments because this guy is not afraid to make comments about certain players in the IPL and certain frustrational moments. He's, uh, he's not afraid to speak his mind. And he he definitely had that swag, and I love seeing that. It's a great partnership here for the, the Benson Hedges Championship. Let us know more about that. MCG is one of those hallowed grounds in cricket, absolutely. But I, I thought it was a lot of fun to watch, to your point. Pakistan had some serious bowling right there. We did see a drop, right? But we're excited for some T20 action. We're excited for some great cricket, for a great rivalry. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up if you're excited for that match as well. Don't forget to join us when that happens that day on the 24th. And with all that being said, until next time. That's six runs.